Welcome back to Pleat at Petite. My name is Elizabeth and today I'm in a bit of a weird mood as you can probably tell but I'm here with a very exciting video. I think it's exciting anyway. We've seen these trousers before in my thrift haul and we know that I am short and these are normal length. So what we are going to be doing in this video is shortening them and I am going to show you how I hack my way through shortening trousers the way that you probably shouldn't do and it's the very very lazy way. My way of using them is not cutting them to the normal length that you should do. My way is using elastic to make some basically genie pants in a sense. I don't do this with like jeans and stuff because it would look really strange but for wide leg trousers this is what I use so any wide leg trousers all I do is put elastic in the um, hemlines so I'm just gonna go through my way of doing it but this is just the way that I do it and this is the way that I am going to be showing you how to do it so Without further ado, because this caption is probably about 10 times longer than it should do, let's get on to shortening these trousers. Hello, so I'm going to go through step one with you. So this is what I'm doing, right? You take your piece of elastic, and I'm showing you my ankle here. Here we go, my beautiful ankle. What I'm going to do is just measure around my ankle where it's comfortable. So I'm not stretching the elastic at all here. Here are my pair of scissors and I'm going to cut the elastic exactly on the where, where they meet each other and then I will cut it and then oh and then take both pieces and so make another one. So you've got two equal leg ankle wrap things. I'm going to measure how wide this elastic is. So this elastic is an inch wide. So um, on my trouser leg, I'm going to mark where, I'm going to mark where an inch and a half is. So I've got seam allowance. So a, so an inch and a half, mark for me is here so what I probably will do is just put a few marks down the side of the trousers so an inch and a half here so I'm gonna do a few of those and then do exactly the same for the other trouser leg make sure that your trousers are inside out before doing this because they will be folded in on each other the great thing about this method and doing thrift flips is that the seam is already stitched up so there are no raw edges unless you're crazy and you want to undo the raw edges. The great thing is that you only need to fold it over once and then you are done with that. So just press that down and then I'm going to get back to you with what we've got to do to finish off the seam. So what I've done here is just pin down the inch and a half um, hem that's just been flipped up and what I'm going to do next is take a running stitch all the way across the top edge of the um, folded over bit which is going to act as like a casing for the elastic to go inside so that will go like that inside uh, yeah so what I'm going to do is stitch down right along the edge leaving like a sort of like inch in the middle where we're gonna feed the elastic through so make sure you leave an opening if you really want to be um, super vigilant that you do it make sure to put two pins in like going the opposite way so just like this so I'm gonna start my stitching here go round and then when I get back to the top I'll finish here along this pin Okay, so now you've got your casing for your trousers. 
um, what you're going to do is take the elastic that you measured around your ankle and then um, I'm going to take a safety pin and pin it to one edge of the elastic and then you'll need to find the opening that you've left in your um, seam and then just feed it through and keep feeding it until you come to the other end. So when the elastic looks like it's going to get close to the um, casing, all you're going to do is take another safety pin or just a normal pin and pin it to the um, trousers just so that when you keep feeding the other end through it's not going to get stuck inside the casing. So do that and then keep going around. So I've got my two end pieces. Now what I'm going to do is make sure that the elastic isn't twisted at all and just pull them out as far as you can get them. It will bunch the cuff up a lot but that's fine for now. So take off both of the safety pins and then lie them over each other so there's a little bit of overlap and just either stick a safety pin or a normal pin back in and then what I'm going to do over the overlapped bit is just stitch over a square and if you really want to reinforce it you can do a square with a um, X through the middle. So I've just finished stitching that um, square onto the elastic so now if I pull it it's tight and it's fine so what I'm going to do is just squish that into the opening and then I'm going to close that opening that we left so I'm going to put a pin down and then all I'm going to do is take another running stitch across from the opening to the other side of the opening and then that will be one cuff finished and then you've just got to finish off the other cuff and then you are done and there you have it your finished cuff on your trouser leg so what I'm gonna do is just finish off the second trouser leg and then I'll show you what I have ended up with they now fit how cool is that look at that amazing so I also altered the waistband to fit me so I've just put two darts in the back you definitely can't see them but you know but now I feel like I'm living my best 90s music video dream that's it really so that was probably the most easy thing that you can do so these are my finished trousers and they only cost me £3.50 and the cost for a bit of elastic and if you want me to show you how to alter waistlines to fit you then obviously give me a shout give me a comment let me know because that would be something very easy to show you again but I will need you to let me know because I'm not a mind reader that just about sums up the end of the video so this video is probably only going to be like three minutes long. Lord, no, it's not. It's going to be like ten minutes long. But still, so quick, so easy, so simple. My cat could do it. She probably couldn't. She's an absolute nightmare. But anyway, if you've liked my hyper weird self today, then give me a like. Let me know. Also, if you hate my weird hyperness, give me a comment let me know dislike the video i actively want you to dislike this video if you hate my weird hyperness because i do as well but i'm in that mood so but anyway if you have liked this video then please give it a like and maybe subscribe and maybe hit the notification bell down below if you have liked this video so that if you want to see more of my stupid videos then you'll get notified and I'm telling you now to have a nice day. I will see you soon.
Bye.